Hello, this is Tyagarajan from Robotics Lab, Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, India. This paper is about a novel underwater glider, Roboy. Underwater gliders are a division of underwater robots which uses variable buoyancy mechanism to dive across the water column. These gliders have three degrees of freedom, namely surge, heave and pitch. The main motivation behind the development of this new underwater glider is that the existing underwater gliders use change of mass concept of variable buoyancy, wherein external water is used to vary the mass of the glider. The vital parts of such systems undergo fouling and scaling. Also, the system becomes complex with numerous parts. Hence, there is a need to develop a simple cost effective system with minimal parts it is also desirable that the overall system is easily portable and modular in design analyzing these requirements we propose a novel underwater glider called roboy and it is based on the change of volume concept of variable buoyancy it uses actuated metallic bellow to vary the buoyancy based on the residual buoyancy which is the difference between the weight of the system and the buoyancy at that instant the direction of heave motion is determined the heave motion is vectored using a wing to result in a surge motion and thus executing a dive action roboy is simple in design with minimal components compared to other gliders. The Roboy prototype shown here uses two similar linear actuators to actuate the metallic below. By expanding and compressing the metallic below using linear actuators, the buoyancy is varied and thereby the dive sequence as shown in figure can be achieved. There are two methods of operating the system. One is by asymmetric actuation of the linear actuators and the other is by symmetric actuation of both the actuators. In first method, the linear actuator can be individually controlled to achieve different residual buoyancy levels. Initially, when the system is neutrally buoyant, the location of center of gravity and the center of buoyancy are aligned. By compressing the metallic below using the the linear actuator towards the nose, the system becomes negatively buoyant in addition to the shift in the locations of center of gravity and center of buoyancy. This dislocation between the center of gravity and center of buoyancy will result in a restoring moment causing a pitch and negative buoyancy will result in a heave motion. Using a wing, the heave motion can be vectored to result in a surge motion, hence dive-in motion is achieved. Similarly, by expanding the linear actuator, the system can be made positively buoyant and dive-up motion can be achieved. Another method of operation is by symmetrically actuating both the linear actuators together. Initially, the system is neutrally buoyant. By compressing both the linear actuators, the system becomes negatively buoyant, resulting in heave motion. Because of the excessive drag due to the wing towards the rear end of the glider, there will be a pitch. This pitch along with the wing will vector the heave motion, resulting in a surge motion. This is the method utilized in the Roboy prototype presented in this paper. Before developing the prototype, the system has been mathematically modeled as three subsystems linear actuator subsystem, fuselage subsystem and the wing subsystem. The overall performance has been analyzed by simulations. One of the simulation results of the dive sequence is presented here. Based on the simulation analysis, few modifications were made to the design and a prototype has been developed. The experimental video showing the performance of the system can be seen.